So, so the next step would be to change the map. So um, if we go into right click here and click symbology, or we can go up here to the feature layer and click appearance and then click symbology. This opens up the symbology panel. Now currently we are um, looking at a single symbol. So all the counties are drawing with the same color. Um, what you have here with crime data is you have uh, quantities, you have numbers of crimes. So you probably want to um, choose one of these things that says draws quantities, right? Um, let's just click here and do graduated col colors because that's a standard chlorofleth map. Um, so we'll click graduated colors. And now this panel opens up for graduated colors and it wants to know what field to base it on. Okay, so it took a long time to load, but it came up eventually with graduated colors um, with a blue color ramp and natural breaks and it has populate, the field it's basing it on is population in 2017. So um, what we have now is essentially a map showing uh, which counties have high populations in them. Uh, that's fine, but that's not really what we want. Let's see what field we can do instead. Um, so let's say that we want to know um, which, you know, which counties have the most murders. Um, we're going to try the murder column. So this is number of arrests in 2016 for murder by county. It's taken a long time to load because there's a lot of counties in the US. So here we have um, counties with a lot of murders in them versus counties with not very many murders. Um, one of the things that you want to be aware of when you're doing this kind of uh, creating this kind of chloropleth map is that largely the counties with a large number of murders are the ones that are smaller and usually they're ones that have big cities in them. So um, you will see the counties with larger cities tend to have a larger number of murders because there's just more people there, okay? So uh, one of the most common things to do with this kind of data set is to um, what we call normalize the data. So if you look here, we got graduated colors, the field is murder. No normalization is none. Okay, we're going to change that, do population, because more people, probably more murders. So we're going to divide the number of murders in a particular county by the total population of that county to see um, sort of a per capita murder rate for that county. Let's see how that goes. All right, now we have a much more interesting map because some places, some counties that are rural counties show up with a high murder rate per capita. Um, now you would have to probably um, change the number, these numbers, they don't, they're not making a whole lot of sense. Maybe you'd want to put it numbers uh, of murders per thousand people or something like that, um, or per 10,000 people or something. Um, so we need to change these labeling numbers to make them make a little bit more sense. But this is a, a much more interesting map that shows um, murder hotspots in various parts of the US um, per capita. Um, 
so I think that that's a, a lot more useful uh, than just straight number of murders per county because some counties have hardly any people in them and some counties have quite a number of people in them. Um, in a separate video, I will talk about these different classification methods um, and how to choose one.